Hi, I'm Tom. I'm so pleased you're back. And I'm Georgia. I hope you're ready for a night filled with adventures. I know I certainly am. Now that you're asleep, we can go and explore your dreams and find out where they've taken us tonight. Wow. From the looks of it, you're dreaming about outer space. Wow, you really have taken us to new heights. You are listening to Mars FM. This next message comes to you from Neptune FM. It is day 686 and there has been no further news. Four members of our family are still missing in the solar system. If you have any information on their whereabouts, please help. Thank you. Did you hear that, Tom? It sounded like an alien voice. You don't think there are aliens, do you? Georgia, look out! It's an alien! Hello, friends. Please, I mean no harm. I'm in search of my homeland. Um, OK, little one. Uh, what's your name and how long have you been here? My name is Nadrin. I've been here for nearly 686 days. Um, me and my friends, we were exploring and, and then our ma rockets malfunctioned and then we all got separated. We heard about you on the radio. There are others who have been searching for you. Let's help you get back to them. It looks like you still have all the parts to your rocket here. How about we collect all the bits together and we can rebuild your ship? That way you can get back home. That sounds great, but I've been trying for many days and I can't seem to find everything. Well, now you have extra hands to help you. And you'll help too, right? Great, let's get started. And this must be the left fin. And I found this. Does this work? I think that's just rubbish, Nadrin. Never mind. Let's keep looking. Just more junk. I found nothing else, just this hat. No, Nadrin. That's the top of your rocket ship. Looks like you found the final piece. <gasps> Great, let's get building. So, it looks like we can slot this fin into here. Which means this fin must go into here. Yeah, that's great. Let's get ready to launch. Not quite yet. We need to add the top to remember. Oh, oh, um... That will help us put it in the right direction. There we go! A finished rocket ship! Yes! Let's get ready to launch it. Um, wait, um, can we um, go find my friends? Um, I flew the furthest away and we all went on different planets, so we need to find them. Of course. Um, so which planet are we on now? Because if we figure that out, we can figure out which the quickest route is. Tom, remember that radio announcement we heard earlier? Mm -hmm. It said we were listening to Mars FM and that was a message from Neptune. <gasps> That's where my family are from! Wow, OK. So, if there were four of you and you managed to fly the furthest away, then we should be able to work out which planets your friends are on. Is that right? I think that works, doesn't it? If your friends are on... So if we're on Mars, and we need to get to Neptune, but we also need to collect Nadrin's three friends on the way, the planets we'll need to stop at in order will be Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Right, so we need to go Mars to Jupiter, Jupiter to Saturn, Saturn to Uranus, and finally Uranus to your home planet, Neptune. Thank you so much. Let's get ready to launch. Are you ready to fly? OK, everyone, hold on tight. Liftoff is in five, five four, four, three, two, two one. Okay, so how did we end up in the sea? 
This is a disaster. How are we going to get out of this place? Oh, wait! Look! A treasure chest! I wonder what's inside! Arr! I've asked ye intruders. What do ye think you're doing on my territory? Uh, we didn't mean to come here. We've only just seen this treasure chest. We had no idea who it belonged to. Well, matey, that is mine. And to unlock my treasure chest, you need to answer these three sea-related questions. Okay. okay! Question one. Which mammal is the largest sea creature? Let's think. What do you think it is? Is the correct answer the blue whale? Aye, lad. That is correct. In fact, the blue whale is 100 feet in length. That's around the same length as three school buses put together. Yes! We got it right. Can you believe how big the blue whale is, though? Arr. Okay, next question. How many legs does a crab have? Let's count it together. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Aye, yes, crabs have ten legs. The front pair of claws and are used to warn off potential enemies. Like ye, you scallywags. Another one right. <laughs> Only one more question to go before we can open the treasure chest. So, my hearties, your final question. How much of the world's surface is covered by water? Is it A, 25%, B, 50%, C, 70%? Well, I know there's more water than land on the world's surface, which means that it's definitely more than half. So the answer can't be 25%, and it can't be 50%. That only leaves 70%. Pirate, our final answer is 70%. 70%. Arr, I thought E would be walking me plank. To congratulate you on passing me C-test, here is my special key. This key will allow you to open the treasure chest and find out what is inside. I'm so happy we did it. I can't wait to see what's inside. Oh, and one more thing. Be careful when you look inside. Wait, what does that mean? Where am I? And where's Tom? Once upon a time, there was a girl named Little Red Riding Hood, and she lived in the forest with her mother. Little Red Riding Hood? One day, Little Red Riding Hood went to visit her granny with some delicious cupcakes in her bag. Ah, hello little girl. Where are you going? My mother told me not to speak to strangers. Oh, I'm no stranger. I know your mother well. Oh, sorry sir. I'm just off to see my grandmother. She's in the field picking flowers. Oh, okay then. Wish her well. Safe journey. The wolf went to Granny's house and ate Granny up. He dressed in her clothes and then sat picking flowers. A little later, Little Red Riding Hood reached the flower bed. Granny! What big eyes you have! All the better to see you with. And what big ears you have! All the better to hear you with. And Granny, what big nose you have! All the better to smell you with. And Granny, what big teeth you have! All the better to eat you with. Just down the road, the friendly woodcutter was in the forest. He heard a loud scream and ran to Little Red Riding Hood. Tom! Georgia! Stand behind me! The woodcutter hit the wolf over the head, knocking him unconscious so Granny could escape safe and sound. I thought I'd never see you again! Let's get out of here. It's more like a nightmare than a dream. Glad we got away from there, aren't you? There you are. I've been waiting ages for you both. Are you ready for the big performance? Big performance? What big performance? Don't tell me you didn't know. Tonight is the grand reveal of the song and dance we've been choreographing for months. For months? This is the first I've heard about it. I'll never learn a dance by tonight. Oh no, it looks like I'm going to have to teach you guys now. <sighs> OK, well, we're always up for a challenge. Let's try and do this song and dance together, shall we? OK. The first line of the song is, when it gets dark outside. During that line, you want to raise your arms and put them back together into the sleeping position. The next line is, it's time to close your eyes. Here, you will do a turn and then bend your knees to cover your eyes. Great, got it guys? Yeah. Let's practice that. 
When, when it, it gets, gets dark outside, outside it's, it's time, time to close your eyes. Great, good job everyone. Then the song goes, together in this dream. First you put your right arm out on the word together, then your left arm out for the words in this. Then raise your arms again for dream. Perfect. The next line is, nothing is what it seems. You need to wiggle your arms down and put as much hip movement into it as you can. Awesome work. Give me a thumbs up if you've mastered it. Oh no, Georgia, what's wrong? I just can't do it. I can't get my hips to work. Don't worry, Georgia. Practice makes perfect. Just try, try and try again. That's exactly right, Tom. It's not a bad thing if you can't get it first time. Should we practice that bit again? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Together in this dream, nothing is what it seems. I did it! Well done. Well done. So the line, nothing is what it seems, you need to wiggle your arms down and shake your hips left to right. Got it. Perfect. Now we are ready to pick up the pace a little. Okay. The next part of the song goes that adults will never know about our adventurous show. To start this, let's add four steps and four clicks. The, the adults, adults will, will never know. know. Then a duck to the right, oh. and then the left. For okay. adventurous show, each hand goes up, and then down, and then we do two claps to the side. Let's give that a practice. Tom and Georgia, I'll be watching you this time. Okay. Okay, ready? The, the adults, adults will never know about our adventurous show. Well done, both of you. Okay, that was perfect. Right, we're nearly at the end now. The second to last line of the song is dreams that will make you go wow. To start, stick out your elbow and step to the right. Then repeat this on your left side. Then on the word wow, do a nice big jump for me. Wow. Finally, for the last lyrics, nothing can stop us now. Let's roll our arms and move our bodies forwards and then backwards and then end with some jazzy jazz hands. Jazz hands. That was great. I think I'm ready for the big performance now. Me too. How long is it until the show? Uh, well, actually, it's now. Now? <sighs> right. Oh, my. We better okay. get some stretches in. OK. okay. I think I'm ready. Are you sure? Oh, Have you got that hip wiggle guy. now, Georgia? I think I'm going to be OK. Are you sure? You know how I worry about you. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. OK, Such we're ready. Friend. Let's do Let's this. Go. When it gets dark outside, it's time to close your eyes. Together in this dream, nothing is what it seems. The adults will never know about our adventurous show. Dreams that will make you go wow. Nothing can stop us now. Yes! Yes! We, we did, did it. it! That was great! Yes, Tom! Well done, Georgia! That was so much fun! Gosh, the morning alarm already! Time has flown by! Oh my, thank you so much for taking on some great adventures with us and helping us along the way. Quick now, it's time to get back to bed. You'll need to wake up and get ready for school soon. But don't worry, we'll be here waiting for you, ready for more fun-filled adventures tomorrow night. Until then, goodbye!